So the expressions modulator of Bitwig Studio expresses your intentions. Um, and when you play on a keyboard, you can um, use different keyboards. Of course, you have, for instance, MPE controllers where you have multiple sensors tracking what you do on the keyboard. And also on just a normal keyboard I have here on my desk, um, the velocity, for instance, is something um, defined by how hard you press a key on the keyboard. So if you press the key even harder, then you have more modulation value here. And then you can select this modulator handle and can open up here, for instance, the filter, right? So the, the harder you press the key on the keyboard, the wider you open up your filter setting. And this is on a per note base. So if you have multiple, multiple keys playing at the same time, you can, of course, change the cutoff here for every note individually. If you don't have a keyboard or if you don't have an MPE controller, you can go here into a uh, note clip and can define it by yourself by just painting in here with the mouse. So I have selected here some note, right? So you can um, take this note and paint in here different um, different line for the timbre, right? So we have a value of 60% here going down to 11%. Um, just for this note. And then you can go into your synthesizer here and can uh, use the timbre setting and can change here some random values I decided here to go for the tuning. So, so this line defines how the detuning evolves or changes over time just for this note. And you can do this also with the pressure here and uh, with the velocity, of course. And um, yeah, you can express yourself basically better. And because you can change it for each individual note, um, the sound becomes more organic in, um, yeah, in, in different ways. And also if you play it on a MIDI keyboard or MPE controller, then the sound becomes more alive because you, you can change so many things at the same time. Um, and it's not just one sound stacked on top of each other or every time the same sound basically for each note. So it changes over time so you can express yourself. Um, when you select the modulator itself, you not only have here these uh, four modulator handles, you can also go here to um, smoothing, enable this if you want to. It's, you know, when you change the parameters too fast, it becomes maybe too fiddly. So you can enable smoothing. It's more like an average value over time. So it's a bit smoother. Um, then you have this timbre setting here relative to note start. And if you use an MPE controller, the timbre is basically uh, the vertical axis on your notes. When you press a note and then you can slide up or down and you can modulate something with this here, of course. So it choose the Tumbler here, modulate the cutoff, and if you slide up or down, you can open or close the filter. And here you can define relative to node start, um, uh, which kind of uh, sets yeah, where you start on the keyboard. So as you can see here, from uh, it starts from zero at the start of the node. So uh, you can, of course, in a MP, on, on an MPE controller, you can start or press the node in the middle of the key instead of the bottom or the top. So you can start at different points uh, vertically on your keyboard. When this is enabled, then you always start with the value or modulation value at zero, no matter where you press the key first, at the top, at the bottom, or in the middle, you always start with the value at zero. 